All right, I've got all the parts for motorizing the uh, train in. I've got four M size motors. Uh, I bought one of these lithium batteries because four motors is probably going to consume a lot of power. An extension, some lights, um, and then a receiver. First thing you'll notice is uh, when we size up these motors on the back, it doesn't look like it's going to fit. I'm going to slide these supports forward. That's that's fine. They're all fit. Um, the hard part's going to be mounting the receiver, and it's because of these Technic pieces around the top. I thought it would look pretty good there, or, or, or really, I mean, right there. That's probably the best spot for it. But if I do that, I'm kind of going to take out the firebox, and I, I like the way that looks. So I think for now I'm going to put the receiver in the coal car. Um and go from there. Uh, somebody online, when I originally posted the video, it was, you know, you only had the one big wheel as a drive wheel here. And uh, it was, I was like, why did they do that? But he just said, just reverse them. And it, it worked very well, very quick, uh, easy fix. So this bottom is set up for, um, this is going to be one, two, three, four wheel drive. Uh, it's all geared. I need a longer shaft here to come up and connect to the top. And I'm gonna have to go into that a bit because that's gonna be tough is how that all connects. Um, I haven't really messed with the forward uh, carriage yet, except uh, I, I do have two wheel drive up here. Um, I may just reverse the wheels like the other one that makes a lot of sense um, and then gear it in uh, wouldn't be that hard so <coughs> I want to make it eight wheel drive um, and go from there I've got to dig through my collection for enough technique pieces to do it um, but let's see how this goes all right it's coming along um, I've got the forwards ones mounted uh, the challenge was I had to come up um, one thin brick on the chassis and then put this cross brace in here for the vertical gear um it was just it was binding in this gear assembly and uh there you go um you know the kit comes it's got one shaft across and that's not going to work because both motors would have to spin the right it's it's a directional issue um, where I'm at now, I've got uh, four drive wheels on the front, two drive wheels on the back, and I'm going to mount this and we're going to start um, seeing it run soon. All right. All right. It's running. A um, couple things you'll notice in the video is uh, it won't do full curves. I'm um, sorry about the focus there. Uh, you could do two curves, one straight, two curves, one straight. Um, the, the running gear just, it won't do it, it can't turn. Um, to add to that, you'll see I've got the uh, three axles off of the coal car. It also wouldn't turn with the three axles on the coal car. And then if you'll notice over here, um, the front gear, it just, uh, it just isn't great. Um, why is it making noise? Eh, it's still going. Um, yeah, the front gear, it, um, the, uh, cattle catcher, it falls and it doesn't have the weight, so it doesn't, it doesn't follow the track. So, I have to do some more work there, but you can see it's running, um, early impressions. It's not the torque monster um, I thought it would be. I mean, it's moving. Uh, it just doesn't have any get up and go. Oh, that's what it is. I got a wheel that fell off. Um, I'm sure once it's moving, it's incredibly torquey. There's just so much friction in the drivetrain. Um, but yeah, she's running. <laughs> 